This week's video, I am meal prepping. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Shakayla. I create and share delicious plant-based recipes and inspiration. If you're returning, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate it. While you are here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the post notifications so that you are made aware every time I post a new video, which is and should be every Sunday. So this week's video, I am meal prepping. Once again, I have my list of items that, or list of meals that I wanna make for the week and we are going to prep it together. And then later in the video, you will see me plate everything, taste test, all that good stuff. So on the menu this week, I am going to, I guess kinda of keep things a little simple. I don't know, um, but for breakfast, I wanna do smoothies and then a tofu scramble with some hash browns which i'm very excited about and then for lunch i want to do some mini quesadillas with some cilantro lime rice and then dinner i'm gonna do a wild rice soup as well as a shallot pasta and then i have some snacks that i want to make which are um, just like some it's really good edamame y'all are gonna see it and then i am going to have protein shakes as well so let's get into the meal prep so I'm actually about to start first with the tofu scramble because it might be the easiest. I'm trying to look at everything I have out. It might be the easiest. So we're going to put together the seasoning, which I typically put on my tofu scramble. So I'm just going to put that together and then we will cook it and move on to the next. So off camera, I just went ahead and prepared the vegetables that are going to go in here. So in here I have onion as well as some green bell peppers. And then right here I have tomato. I'm debating putting spinach in here. I don't know just yet, but we'll see. All right, and while this heats up, so I have the tofu right here, which is the extra firm, super firm tofu that I'm just crumbling up because it's... Did I just have the package? Hold on, let me show y'all the package. So this is the package that I use, or this is the type of tofu that I typically use. And I'm just crumbling it up because we're gonna put it in here once the vegetables are softened. Okay, so our tofu is finished. We are about to add in these tomatoes and then put these in containers. We are done with the, um, the tofu scramble. Again, I also plan to make, so I made enough for three days, but for the other days I plan to um, do like smoothies. So I may like go smoothie, tofu scramble, smoothies. I don't know yet, but at least we have three days figured out. Um, and also I'm not one to eat something every day, the same thing every day for an entire week. So that's why I kind of do like three, two and three here and there. And then now we are about to start on the mini quesadillas. I'm just gonna put some vegan cheese in there as well as some onions and bell peppers. For the mini quesadillas, I, because I want to keep this process moving along, normally I would make quesadillas on the stove, but I did see that there are people actually make quesadillas in the oven. So I have this baking sheet. I just sprayed it with some olive oil and I'm going to add down the first layer of tortilla 
and then the filling which is just the onions as well as the green bell peppers i have some vegan cheese right here let me show y'all the brand all right so this is the vegan cheese that i'm using um so yeah we're about to just assemble these bad boys put them in the oven and then move on to the next yeah four of these my vegan cheese that i'm gonna put down followed by a few of the peppers and onions vegan cheese and um blend and then we're gonna add that on top. And then before we put these in the oven, we're going to spray them with some olive oil again. All right, yeah, there we go. Put down some of the filling. A little bit of this. Okay, so while the quesadillas are in the oven, we're going to start on the pasta. So here I have some whole wheat bucatini pasta and I'm about to be boiling some water. We're gonna cook that, and then I'm just going to, listen, I'm using the same pan, okay, same skillet. So that's gonna be the next thing that we make. So I'm about to boil the noodles, and then make the shallot pasta, well, shallot sauce, and then combine everything, put those in some containers, and go to the next. And while we wait for the pasta to boil, we have shallots here that we're just going to cut up and get rid of some of this. Yeah, cut up because then we're going to cook it on the stove with some vegan butter. I also, oh, let me show y'all these things that I did. So I had some, I had some basil that was going to go bad. So instead of just letting it go bad, I cut it up finely. I added a little bit of olive oil to it and I put it in these, this little freezer thingy. Um, <laughs> ice cube tray why did i act like i didn't know what an ice cube tray was but i put it in here it's been in the freezer for about a week now and i'm gonna add this to the pasta but that was um i was looking up ways on <laughs> i gotta squat down i was looking up ways online on how to make sure your fresh herbs don't go bad and this was a tip that they had so again i just cut it up finely drizzled it with some olive oil and put it in here um, I had it in this little plastic bag in the freezer as well, and so it held up perfectly. So we're going to use that for the pasta, which is one of the dinner options for this week. Very weird angle here, but, um, so I just wanted to mention, so the shallot pasta was inspired by Allison Roman. And then I also had a lovely person who put a comment. They asked me if I've ever tried the shallot pasta and I'll put their name on the screen because I can't remember off the top of my head and I should have went back to look at it. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just like on autopilot trying to get through this food. Um, but they also asked me if I've made the shallot pasta before and I haven't made it. So I'm kind of just freestyling now, but I want to say thank you so much for putting the idea in my head to make this. Um, it's going to be very delicious. So let's get back to cutting these up. I also have the Real Housewives of Potomac on in the background. <laughs> Cause y'all know it's about to be good. So let's go. we have made the tofu scramble amazing and I'm gonna have that with some hash browns we've also made I'm just gonna take I have some jasmine rice that's like already cooked take that add some lemon I mean not lemon boop, add some lime I'm gonna add some cilantro some salt and some vegan butter and I'm gonna have that with the mini quesadillas we are cooking our pasta and then I'm gonna make a soup I'm gonna do a wild rice soup and Y'all, I'm sweating because it is hot in this kitchen. But honestly, I think I'm going to stop there because I don't want to cook too much food. I feel like between the pasta and the soup, I'll be able to rotate for probably the rest of the week. Maybe. I don't know. But I just made like three servings of the pasta. So if I do the soup and I make like two, I'll probably end up doing like four servings of the soup and... Probably even more than that, honestly, because I can just freeze some, which is likely what I'm going to do. Again, similar to what I would do for the chili as well. So, uh, as I guess in total, we made the tofu scramble, mini quesadillas, the shallot pasta, 
the wild rice soup and uh, yeah that's probably gonna be it for right now and then later in the week I might whip something else up Okay, so now that the pasta is done and it tastes so good y'all i'm about to just finish cooking vibe out a little bit finish my wine and i will see y'all this week when i begin to plate everything enjoy it taste test it all that good stuff Trying to be here for a while, it's a good time. When we get stressed out, just good wine. When I look in the mirror, yeah, I look fine. Good people, times and good wine. This is what we are working with right now. I am going to let it simmer uncovered because it's been covered this entire time. I'm going to let it simmer uncovered for about 10 minutes just so I guess kind of hoping that it, that would help thicken it up a little bit more. Y'all this soup has my house smelling so good. So good. Okay so it just finished simmering uncovered. I'm about to take this bay leaf out and then go ahead and um, put them in the different containers or the meal prep containers. Good morning. Okay, so now it is time for us to actually enjoy the fruits of our labor. All of the cooking that we did yesterday. Um, so for breakfast, y'all saw me prep the tofu scramble. So here it is for today. I'm just going to heat this up in the microwave. I would do it on the stove, but I don't feel like creating extra dishes. So I'm gonna heat this up in the microwave. I also have some toast that I'm going to have with this. And then I'm trying to debate if I want to add an avocado 
I want to add some fruit. I don't know just yet, but we'll figure it out. We're going to start plating everything because I know it's going to be so good. Y'all, I just had an idea. Um, I was just walking over to the pantry to see if we had something to go on top of the toast. Well, the bread. And I think I'm going to do peanut butter and banana toast. That should be really good. Like drizzle some maple syrup on top. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Oh, and by the way, because I know sometimes I get questions on like what type of I feel like I'm like super close, my bad, y'all. But I get questions on what type of bread I use. So the bread that I have been using is this Dave's Killer Bread. It is vegan, plant-based, you know, doesn't have any eggs, dairy in it. And it's also really good. So like one slice has five grams of protein, three grams of fiber. So I really like that. And then this is the peanut butter that I'm going to use. It has protein in it, which I like. Um, there's eight grams of protein per two tablespoons. <coughs> If that's your thing again I think I mentioned in my um, the tips video that I posted a couple weeks ago that I am prioritizing protein like that is my thing right now and so by adding this which is eight grams of protein to my toast which is five grams of protein and then my tofu scramble has 19.8 grams of protein so I'm doing it I'm doing it And something I haven't made in a long time is matcha. So we're about to have matcha with breakfast. All right, I have a new snack for the week. I've made it at least like four times. Whenever I eat at a restaurant and I order this, they're like, ma'am, are you finished? No, leave, leave all of that here. It is edamame. Hoo wee So easy and so good. Okay, so it's just a pot with maybe like half an inch of water in here. And then I have this colander that I put in here. It helps me steam everything. Here we just cover it with the lid. Let it come to a simmer just until the edamame is no longer frozen and is soft. The chili crunch, you put about that much. Soy sauce, so I just add a little bit of that. The maple syrup, shake it up like this. Mm, perfect. Doop. Close it up, shake it. And we are going to enjoy, let me just find like a really good piece. Look at that y'all, so good. Okay y'all, it's been a day and I am about to eat some of the meals that, well eat one of the meals that we prepped on Sunday. Um, I just finished creating content for a campaign that I was working on. I don't know if I've shared this before, but I am a Kroger ambassador, so for the last, half of 2022 and then January of this year um I work with Kroger and like y'all have seen me shop at Kroger on my channel before and 
I was actually shopping at Kroger before I even started working with them. So I was like so excited that they wanted to work with me. Um, but yeah, so I just create content centered around their private label items as well as just different produce and yeah, things that I find at Kroger that I can use and that I use today at, in a lot of my meals. <sighs> I feel like my brain is fried. Don't mind me. Anyway, we're about to enjoy one of the meals that we prepped on Sunday. I think I want to do the pasta. I did have it this week already and it was so good. So, so good. So we're about to enjoy that. Y'all, this soup is so good. Sorry, you may hear my dishwasher going, but this soup is so delicious. Again, this is the wild rice soup, which I've had it already this week, um, but it's really, really good. Y'all, and I'ma keep it real. I do not feel like <laughs> plating this lunch at all. Um, it is a busy, busy day. So I just have the rice that we cooked up as well as um, just some pico that I had, like canned pico. I have some vegan sour cream, well dairy free, oh my gosh, dairy free sour cream. And then I have these, quesad the mini quesadillas in the oven. Um, this is honestly a working lunch for me, so. Here we go. So I'm gonna put that in here. Put that in here. Y'all, some days I'm plating, some days it is basic, okay? And today we are just making do and making sure we eat some food. So I have those quesadillas that we cooked up. They are steaming, um, very, very hot. I also have that cilantro lime rice that y'all saw me make. And then again, this, I'm using these to just like dip the quesadillas in or put on top of the quesadillas as I eat them. Let me, ooh, wee. But yeah, so it's just like cheesy. And then I have the, um, the uh, what is it, the fajitas, fajita peppers and onions in here as well. So just about to go enjoy that. It is a working lunch. I look pretty silly right now, so please don't judge me. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go eat and I'll see y'all later. All right, beautiful people. So I'm currently, my forehead is shiny. I'm currently in the process of editing last week's video, but I just wanted to drop in and say thank you so much for watching this video. Right now I'm actually eating a bowl of chili. If you watched the video that I'm editing right now, which is last week's video, you would have seen that I made some chili. And this is just a perfect example of, you know, although I did meal prep the chili for the week, I had several servings, maybe about like, three servings that I didn't eat last week because I had it in the freezer and I froze them so that I could have options in the future of meals like when I didn't feel like cooking I could just heat it up on the stove throw it in the microwave and this chili is one of them I think this might be my last little batch of chili or last serving of chili because it's been 
so delicious so so good but yeah show that as an example of meal prepping and freezing some of the food that you may not consume that week because in the following weeks you can always go back and enjoy them like i'm doing for this chili right now so i will see y'all next week i really hope that you enjoyed this video so good i actually just put some vegan cheese and some plain unsweetened dairy-free yogurt on top so good. So I'll see y'all next week. Bye.